All right, Shalom Akim Shalom. Hey, Yah Bashmael Shai, Barak a thumb. All praises to Yah Bashmael Shai and Devon say Elder Apostles of the Great Millstone. All right, welcome back to another GMS Inspiration of the Almighty. And man, I'm I'm a little uh, confused on what I want the title to be because I have a I can't come up with a title, but basically I want to talk about we got to be thankful, remembering your joy, gratitude. Maybe maybe that'd be it. We got to be thankful. Remember your joy, gratitude. All right. And right before I had cut on the camera, I had uh, looked up the word gratitude in the etymology. And it, and it basically means to be thankful. You know, to count your blessings, in other words. And brothers, I'm, I'm bringing this out because, you know, we get to that point in this walk where everything is irritating you you don't want to be here you know what i'm saying you hate going to work you hate doing this you hate doing that man even working out it get boring playing the game get boring if you play the game your woman you want more women you don't want that same woman everything is fucking terrible as fuck and yes it's, that's what it is and it and then what it does though it puts you in a spirit of just uh of like a negative vibe and what I like to do and what I uh, practice is that I try to remember gratitude. I try to remember my joy. I actually pray to Yahweh Shemel Shai to please, Lord, restore my joy unto me. You know what I mean? And then I fight against that negative vibe that jumped over me. You know what I'm saying? And we just got to continue to fight. Fight the good fight of faith. And remember gratitude. We got to be remembering that. Remember the scriptures say that more have been showed unto us than men understand. Here it is. We understand why we're we breathing. You could you could go to the next person you see and ask them, man, why are you breathing? Like, why are we here? How do we get here? And he gonna have a million and in in one answers on why he think we here and what is the purpose of life. But this, the spirit, through the spirit and the grace and the power of Yahweh Shem El Shai, we actually understand what is the purpose of life. Why are we even breathing? Why is humans here? Why is animals here? What is, what is the purpose of all of this? And, and, and then the Lord has given us the mysteries of his will. We understand what, what the Lord planned to get us to this point of 2024. What has happened in history? Who is who? People walking around thinking that um, black people and white people are actual races and <sighs> men over here laying with other men, women laying with other women. There's so many things that people don't understand that we do. And that's a that's a form of of showing like that's a that that allows you to show gratitude, being thankful. Because you could be left out here. We could be left out here. Left out here. You know? Woman running over you. You know what I mean? You stuck and sprung out on some drug. Hey, you could just be a, I'm a, just a regular ass person going to work nine to five, but don't understand it, that that judgment is around the corner. <laughs> that you finna get uh, a micro C hit putting you in toss into a concentration camp it's like you know you gotta all of us collectively we have to remember gratitude and being thankful and fight against those negative vibes that jump over us and it happens to all of us and it happens frequency uh, frequently it's it's like a it's seasonal it jumps on you it jumps off you jump but when the, when it jump on you to fight against it with with gratitude being thankful thanking the lord you know his name you could pray to him you know, you got you 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 got food over your uh, you got food you can eat. You got shelter. It's like the little the little things that men take for hold for granted. You cherish. You know, the Lord has had mercy on you. The different things that the Lord did for you to get you out of your jams and your situations over the year. Excuse me, over the years. 
That's another another form of showing uh, of finding gratitude. You think about damn the Lord. I remember He delivered me from that. You know, and it's just like a thing of this. this we have to motivate our, our our ourselves, brothers and sisters out there, man. We got to truly motivate ourselves in this thing, and and simply having the scriptures, having the scriptures, um. And understanding them, that that's our key. That's our power. Just as it says in Isaiah 33 and 6, that knowledge and wisdom is to be the stability of thy time. Literally, uh, stability, stability of thy times. Literally, um, it ain't just, it ain't talking about just in that time when all hell break loose, but also now. And it's, it keeps us level-headed. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding keeps us level-headed. So we have the word of the Heavenly Father to combat these Negative vibes that be jumping on us And we have to remember to just be thankful In this thing Being thankful, count your blessings Remember it always could be worse Remember it always could be worse You know Thankful that you Some people came up They, they disabled to, to the point where They in a the hospital You know Just Esau experimenting on them It's Man, it's just so many different scenarios you can think of, and then it just makes you humble down and just be thankful and just continue to move forward. Thank you, Yahweh Shem El Shai, just for his mercy and grace and what he has had mercy on you and how he has sufficed you. Just like uh, Paul, he prayed three times so that the Heavenly Father could take away that thorn from his flesh. And uh, the Heavenly Father told Paul, he said, my grace is sufficient for thee, meaning that how the Lord got Paul, how he woke him up and what he put him through and how he had has how he had mercy on him, that was suffice the Lord. That's what that's what the Lord was pleased with. So we all know that we gotta we're gonna have to deal with whatever thorns or whatever we have that that we wish was better. We're gonna have to deal with it. But then being thankful that the Lord even had it's it's it satisfied him that um um to have mercy on us, but we had to live this. You have to live with that thorn, but the Lord's cool with it. He's cool with it. He's dealing with you and you fighting through it. So yeah, yeah, man, gratitude, man. You know what I'm saying? Gratitude. Remember your joy. Remember to be thankful. Remember your how was shy. Remember what the goal is. Salvation, how it was around the corner. You know, how we, how we, we're separate and holy from the two thirds. And may Yahweh Shemal Shai restore all things as it is written in Re uh, Revelations, the 21st chapter. The Lord going to wipe away all tears and there will be no more sorrow. And that's what we're waiting for, brothers. The faith and the patience of the saints. Yahweh Shemal Shai, Barakatama, Kim Steb, Shalom.